Hey guys, it's Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So we're going to take a look at what's up with that fire sign that you've been dealing with. Um, if they've, like, what's going on with them? Are they, did they ghost you? Are they not talking to you? Yeah, let's take a look at this. Fire sign males or females. All right. So it's going to be Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. All right. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yep, this is them. Okay. They got that sneaky energy. Something's going on with them where they're, they're arrogant and they have like this, uh, you know, it could be male or female. They're bossy. They're arrogant. They just, they're overconfident. They're super proud. They say whatever they want to say to people. They don't care. They're physically, very physically active, but like bullying in kind of a way, right? And I feel like you guys, you know what? You're just like, you're done with this. You, you, I, I don't feel like you really even want to hang around. You're not sticking around for this person because look, you're looking back and I feel like you're feeling sorry for them because of the way they've been treating you, right? Honestly. Now, look, the world card is, there's a lot of fixed energies here. So, you know, some of you, a lot of you could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or uh, a Leo. Some of you are dealing with a Aries. Um, I feel like, th so this is for the fire sign. So if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or um, a Sagittarius, and you're one of the other fixed signs, I feel like you're done with them. You know, whatever sign you are, it's just like the book is, the chapter's closed. And they're, they're actually feeling pretty crappy about it. They're missing you. They're feeling regret. So whatever you did, whatever was going, their behavior you know, and I feel like too, they're actually starting to take a look at their behavior to see like why, you know, they didn't have to be that way with you. And now they're regretting it because some of you just were like, you know what? I'm done. I'm out of this. I'm not putting up with that crap. And I really feel like you guys, you're just at that place now where you just, you don't want to deal with this crap anymore. Now these two cards fill out. We have the 10 of Pentacles, queen of swords in the reverse. So you know what? you got this nasty energy. I mean, I don't feel like you're going around and you're, you're being like mean to this person, but I just feel like you're, you're just, you may have had some harsh words with them because you wanted this stability and they weren't giving it to you. They just weren't giving it to you. They were just thinking that you were going to just do whatever they said, or you're going to have whatever was going on, like whatever they offered, that was going to be enough. And you were either going to take it or leave it. And you're like, nope, that's not, not, that's not enough, you know, or they were offering you like, um, some of them were offering, just giving you money and you wanted something more than that. Or they were, they were trying to be, I don't feel like their energy was consistent. I just feel like this person was all about themselves and just didn't have anything going on with you. Look, so you know what? They're regretting it. They're regretting it. They're missing you. They, they feel like, they, they realize they messed up. They got caught doing something. You caught them doing something. And now they're trying to be all, you know, they could be trying to be all apologetic to you. But it's not like they're apologizing because they've realized, you know, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. No, they realized after the fact that you called them out on something or you caught them doing something. They were lying. They were cheating. Whatever it was that was going on, and you just—I feel like you just kind of got nasty about this and said, "You know what? You weren't giving me this. You weren't being true and being stable and being honest with me." And you just kind of turned the cheek on them and just gave it to them. You caught them with something, and you—you you spoke it out loud, and you said something to them. And I don't know if this is going to resonate for all of you, but I feel like a lot of you are feeling this way. So what's going on with this person? Yeah, they're missing you and they're feeling like crap because they got caught. But still, it's it's still, they're feeling sorry for themselves, right? Because they got caught, because they couldn't keep pulling the wool over your eyes because you were just too smart. You finally caught on to something they were doing and you ended it with them. Yeah, but they're gonna try and make a love offer to you. They're gonna try and reach out to you again you know, this page of cups to me is always that, <laughs> I always say this in, on my channel, my readings, it's like that it's kind of like young, immature, narcissistic little boy. You know, the page is somebody younger. They come across like that. So they'll probably reach out and send you a text just, you know, or an apology. Um, or they'll send you some like, um, 
I don't know. I almost feel like they're going to try to like place the, the blame back on you, but in a really strange way, like a way where it's like, you know, you were so right, but if you hadn't done this, you know, like this kind of turn it around on you, like a backhanded kind of apology. I do feel like there is going to be some type of message coming in very mature, uh, it's simple, a simple, a simple little love message, like, like a text, you know, nothing like they're going to show up at your door and, and with flowers and try to, you know, it's all about them, whatever they're showing up with or whatever this text is has more to do with them. And I know that sounds really crappy, but some of you just really need to hear this. This person doesn't like the fact that you left them out in the cold, this fire sign. They're pretty pissed about it. It's not really, it's not what they wanted. They wanted to be able to have their cake and eat it too and still be a part of your life in some way. So I do feel like you're going to be hearing from them again, but some of you just need to pay attention to the signs or the red flags that could be coming in with this person. They're not being altruistic. They're not really trying to have a relationship. The queen of wands in the reverse is, this is your fire sign you're dealing with. And this person is very egotistical. And some of you already know that. And I hope that you're not waiting for this person to come in and change because I'm just not seeing that here, at least during this time period, you know, at least while you're listening to this reading, I'm not seeing that happen. That, that could happen in the future, but I don't feel like this time period is something that that's going to be happening. Yeah, they're going to make some kind of an offer. It's going to seem stable, but honestly, it's just on that page of cups for me and the message I'm picking up for that is that they're just full of themselves. The emperor in the reverse, Aries. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Very narcissistic person, controlling, abusive. It's all about them, what they want. Very unstable. Can't seem to get themselves together. <laughs> they will give you the impression that they're working hard or they will work hard um, to try to make a family situation work again or they will, you know, this is all about them. They got caught doing something and you call them out on it and they're feeling really crappy about it because they got caught and they weren't smart enough to keep pulling the wool over your eyes because you finally woke up and I feel like they're going to try to reach out again to you and try to make things all right and all better because they're feeling lonely and they're feeling sorry for themselves. But the truth is that this person doesn't deserve you. That's all I'm saying. And they're going to come back, try to act like either this is like you're uh, co-parenting with someone or whatever, and they're going to try to come back and act like you're a team for the kids and try to do all that. But their intention really is that, you know, maybe they got caught, you know, going outside of the marriage, going outside of the relationship. Maybe there was another child involved in the situation. I'm not seeing pregnancy. There could be a child from a former uh, relationship or marriage. And, um, you know, they, I feel like they're going to come across as being, you know, I'm, I'm here with you. Let's do this. Let's do, but I, I don't know. You want to go back to it? You want to trust it? That's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what the message are that are coming to me from, at least from this person. This Knight of Swords energy is here. This person is just completely, they, the scattered energy. They don't know. They have no, they're just trying to get what, collect whatever they can. They have no straightforward intention. Um, they do things out of fear because they're just so off balance. They don't know. They don't know what they want. So they just kind of get whatever they want. Ace of Cups in the reverse. So this person isn't really trying to have a new beginning. They're not even seeing it as a potential. They just hate the fact that, that they got caught. They hate the fact that they're alone and they don't want to do this. Now, if you guys have a fire sign in your life who's not like this, then this reading is not for you. So don't try to force it to fit. This is for those of you, you know, who know, who are aware, you have someone like this in your life or you have in the past and the chance of them coming back, you, maybe you just need a reminder about them. And, you know, the time frame this reading, you know, we're coming up on the week of October, what are we, 21st through the 27th. This could really occur during that time or any time during this Venus retrograde up until November 15th or 16th. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. And again, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.